welcome back to Viteractive. In this training session, I'll show you how to set up an automated thank you message for new subscribers to your winery's mailing list. You know it's not just good manners to say thank you when someone joins your list, it's good business too. Delivered at the peak of customer interest, an automated thank you message can reinforce brand value and sell more wine. But the most important thing about a timely thank you message is that it trains new subscribers and their email systems to deliver future messages, helping you and your customers for the lifetime of your relationship. In this video, we'll show you how you can set up your own automated thank you message, or even an entire thank you sequence from Preference Pro. To set up your own automated thank you sequence, first log in to your admin control panel. Select the authoring menu, scroll down to event triggered messages, and click on conversations. Here you'll see Preference Pro's exclusive library of pre-built conversations that you can quickly customize for your winery. Since Preference Pro works directly with many winery commerce systems, the fastest way for some wineries to launch a thank you campaign is to start with a conversation template built specifically for their POS system. You can also trigger most of the conversations in Preference Pro manually, so any POS system that can generate customer reports can also benefit from Preference Pro's automated conversations. In this example, we'll customize a new subscriber thank you message for WineDirect customers. And we'll start by opening the conversation in Preference Pro. Here in Preference Pro's conversation generator, you'll see a blueprint of the steps used to automate your interaction. If you look closely, you'll see a conversation trigger, a 10-minute wait period, and a single automated message. If this structure works for your thank you campaign, the next step is to customize the conversation for your winery. To begin editing your own conversation, here's a pro tip. Always start by saving a copy of Preference Pro's pre-built template. To make a copy of any conversation in Preference Pro, click on the Save As icon and enter a new name. And if you want to organize your conversations, click on Conversation Properties, where you can save your conversation in any folder you want. Once you've saved your conversation, you want to confirm three things. The trigger, the timing, and the content of your conversation. To confirm the trigger used to start your conversation, click on the trigger icon. The default triggers in this template include an external event called Newsletter Signup, which means your thank you sequence starts automatically whenever you upload new names using the Newsletter Signup tag. This template also includes an external event called WineDirect Automated Feed, which means your thank you sequence starts whenever new names are uploaded from WineDirect. And if you need to change the triggers for your thank you conversation, you can easily remove old triggers or add new triggers in Preference Pro. Then once you've confirmed your triggers, next review the timing of your campaign. In our pre-built template, your first email is sent 10 minutes after the conversation was triggered. 
to send your first message right away. You can delete this step or edit the lag time built into the conversation. Just remember to save your changes. Once you're happy with the cadence of your conversation, it's time to customize your thank you message. To customize the first message used in your thank you sequence, click on the message icon. From here, you'll have three ways to customize your email message. You can use our default template as a starting point if you want. You can create a new message from scratch. Or, if you've already saved a new message, you can add it to the conversation by clicking Edit a Saved Message. This is my favorite way to add a new message to any conversation. If you use Preference Pro's Composer Authoring System, to design and save your custom message, you can select it here, make any final changes, commit your message to the conversation, and save your changes. If you want to add more messages to your conversation, it's easy to do in Preference Pro. Just add a new wait step and set its duration. Then we'll add a second message to the sequence Commit it to the conversation and save our changes. And at any time in the process, you can save your work without launching your campaign simply by clicking the back button. Then when you're ready to resume, open the conversation to finish your work. When you're done editing your work, you're ready to test and launch your new automated conversation. To learn more, visit us at www.venteractive.com or search help.listtrack.com for answers and expert advice for getting the most out of Preference Pro.